Hi boys and girls, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. Welcome to Cedar Creek. Getting ready for bass champs next weekend. And uh, trying to see if there's any spawning fish, but I've done this off and on all day in the lake. There's a bunch of rain yesterday. I mean a bunch of rain. And there's a lot of color to the water and I've only seen a very few fish today. But what's weird is the fish don't seem to be real post spawny either and I've not seen a single bit of fry. Now again, I've not been real shallow but about two hours today. I've got one, there's a little old fish. I've got one tournament quality fish I've seen on the nest today and it was super spooky. So uh, I've spent most of my day down here uh, running main lake stuff, trying to find biting fish, not spawning fish. and. Uh, I spent quite a bit of the morning out really deep. Oh, by the way, congratulations. We had somebody win the spark money at LBJ this weekend, 4,000 bucks. And of course there's 2,000 bucks up for this weekend. Remember, you don't have to be a customer anymore. You can just join spark fishing. It's 75 bucks to join. You, can, you and your partner can split it and you can win the two grand this weekend. Somebody will weigh an eight pounder here next weekend and that would put them in the lead if they'll submit it to Sherilunker for the Cedar Creek Big Bass, because nobody submitted a fish yet. So anyway, um, started out deep, uh, and I had one quality bite, and, and this is that bite. I didn't say it was a quality bass bite. I just said it was a quality bite. I gotta tell you, when I stuck that fish, it was on a biffle bug, as you saw, I, uh, I really thought that was gonna be a great big one. Uh, out in Main Lake, about 16 feet, boat was sitting about 25 feet. But I uh, caught that one, and then I had, uh, I caught a short fish out there and had two or three little pull downs, but they wouldn't even hold on to it. And I will say, Big old gar. Uh, a lot of what I did today, so so let me back up. So one of the most fun bites I've ever experienced here on Cedar Creek, my old buddy Bill Wilcox put me on the bite and it's the, uh, it's the brim spawn. And so a lot of you guys know me as a Rayburn guy, but I grew up, I mean, I, my Texas fishing started up here. I fished with the Dallas Hook Setters and Century Bass Club in Dallas for years and years. So. We came to Cedar Creek once or twice a year, and of course we fished, gosh, back in the day, all the tournament circuits, any North Texas tournament circuits are gonna come to Cedar Creek. So I've been on Cedar Creek many, many times, day and night both. And so today I ran a bunch of that old stuff I looked at, but Wilcox put me on uh, that brim spawn one year. And you know I always heard guys talk about fishing retainer walls. It's, a, it's generally a main lake thing, and when I, when they the first time I heard that was back in the club days, somebody catch them on a retainer wall, and I thought that meant you went up and you and you fished the retainer wall. Well, actually, what it means is you're just fishing those main lake points that have retainer walls on them. And what you'll find is a lot of those houses, what they do is they build those yards, and I don't know how they get away with it with a core, 
actually I say that, I'm not even sure this is a core lake, but they build those yards way out so that a lot of times retainer walls at pool are sitting in two, three, four feet of water. So really you're fishing points up pretty shallow about where those bass and or brim like to spawn. And, and I've always thought that it's payback time. You know, brim just torture bass when they're on the nest. <laughs> brim just torture bass when they're on the nest. And I think when those brim go up there to spawn and them, them bass think it's it's payback time and I've seen them do it it's amazing that a, a brim as big as your hand will step will stand off against a four or five or six pound bass but uh, the brim lose and those bass when they get up there and get on that it is whoo, hello Mr. Snake Oy, little water snake. Uh, when they get up there doing that it's a it's a great time. I mean, we had uh, my old partner Bill Johnson who died back in 2012. Uh, miss you, Billy. Um, we uh, we had 50 and 60 fish days doing that and catching high teens, low 20s, doing it, just having a ball. And I kind of had hoped that was happening, but it's, it's from what I saw, it's not. Now, by the way, the lake's pretty off color. But and and just so you know, the lake from what I saw today is run from about 64 to about 70. See, I'm in a protected spot right there, and it's it's 69.8 in here. Uh, and of course, it was cool this week, and it's going to be pretty warm, I think, all of next week. But um, from what I saw, the rim spawn hadn't started. Now, I believe, I believe that uh, the uh, full moon is Tuesday night, so it could start this week. Uh, I got so. I, I didn't pull on many of my bites today. It was there's a tournament circuit down. There was a tournament today, and of course there's a lot of guys pre-fishing bass champs. So pretty much anywhere you fish, there was somebody around you, and uh, so I didn't pull on a lot of fish. Matter of fact, I didn't. I think I maybe only pulled on three or four fish. Look, let me show you those fish that I caught right here. Actually. spot but can't see me. It's a little spot that I fished for years and years. It's a, a little secondary point but interestingly the guy who came in here and bought the house and ripped it down and he extended his yard out. So the best spot used to be right out here. It was pretty far out on the bank and now it's pretty dang close because he brought the yard out. I, Kind of had to look at it real hard to figure out it was the same spot and it didn't feel right. But there's a couple of stumps. Apparently he has not pulled out and there's red clay down through there. They're probably little old bitty short stumps, but I hit one and that little old fish whacked it. Don't. It's probably been 15 years since I fished this spot. Crazy. How to properly hold a fish to make it look big.
in there, it took me three times to catch that fish. He'd dump it, turn it loose, dump it, and turn it loose. Third time's a charm. Thunk. Container wall fish. That could brim spawn, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a good rough spot up there that fish is hanging out on. It's a really rough bottom. You'll feel that clay as you bounce the Carolina rig down through there. So you saw that that little guy was out in front of a, a boat dock. Uh, I caught another one out, and, and most of these are secondary points. There's again kind of that old secondary point that now there's a retainer wall and a boat dock on them, but uh, I caught two or three, four or five keepers today and had a bunch of more bites. I just didn't pull on them. But I got to think that it's real close to, uh, to time for that brim spawn to happen. Uh, I saw no sign of it today. I saw no sign of any kind of a shad spawn. Uh, I did go up in the gator grass a little bit when I was, uh, when I was looking around trying to see fish and threw a frog a bunch and uh, never even had a wave on a frog. So, uh, you know, I, I think today I probably could have caught a limit pretty easy based on the number of bites I had, but uh, I, I never saw what I felt like was a female fish today. So, um, fish, the lake seemed to fish pretty easy and it's probably as bad a day. Actually, I've talked to several guys who said uh, today was, or yesterday was way better. Of course, yesterday it was, uh, Yesterday it was cloudy and a little breezy. Today it was just breezy. Apparently the snake population is, is healthy here. Cedar Creek. Anyway, several guys said that, uh, you know, the bite was pretty good yesterday and much tougher today. So I got to think, you know, this is sort of post frontal. Uh, to get the number of bites I got today, I think we'll get a bunch of bites next weekend. We'll just, uh, We'll just see whether or not we can catch any size. So, and that's always the key at Cedar Creek. Uh, you know, my experience has been here. Used to be when it didn't get a ton of pressure, you could you could flip docks and catch a big stringer. Uh, I have now. I haven't been here in years, but I think anymore you got to get offshore. You can catch a bunch of fish around docks still, but I just don't think you catch the quality. And I think you might catch one or two, but there's so many people doing it, it's hard to catch five doing that. So. We'll spend our time, now we may be around docks, but we won't be fishing docks. We'll be fishing main lake points and little secondary points and just seeing what we can see. So uh, that's what we got going on. Let's, uh, let's jump over real quick and do the spark, yeah, yeah, do the spark drawing for this week. And uh, we got a bunch of guys in it now, so let's check it out. Here's the spark drawing for the week. Okay guys, let's do the spark drawing for this week. So, two things. Uh, first off, uh, don't forget this weekend, Cedar Creek Bass Champ for $2,000 for highest finishing top 10 spark customer. Uh, and you, remember, you don't have to be a spark customer anymore. You can join Spark Fishing, which is at sparkfishing.com, www.sparkfishing.com. $75 per team, or it's $75 per person, but you and your partner can split it. So. Uh, Two thousand bucks. I mean, that's that's a great return on that money. Uh, so, second thing, uh, I noticed we had so this drawing, the end of the month drawing every month is for spark fishing customers, spark customers, spark fishing guys, and everybody else who just goes to spark fishing and registers for the drawing. Uh, last week, you remember we gave it to a guy who was not even from Texas. I only had a few folks sign up this month, so that's fallen off a little bit. So, I think there's probably 200, 250 names in here. So still pretty good odds of winning 250 bucks because we're gonna have six or seven, well, we'll have one every month for the rest of the year. So uh, don't forget to go to Spark Fishing and just register for the drawing if nothing else. So there you go. So let's do this week's drawing and we're gonna go right down to the bottom. I've been mixing them up pretty good. And we're gonna pull that name right there. Uh, and that is Wes Dutter, D-U-T-T-E-R, I believe is how you say that, Dutter from Wichita Falls, Texas. So congratulations, Wes, just for signing up for a drawing. You just won 250 bucks. And I've said something wrong in the last few, uh, I've, I've told you guys to be on that lookout for an envelope from Spark. It actually doesn't come from Spark. It comes from something called Rewards, which is a return address, but you'll fill the gift card in there. So be on the lookout for that. I know that because I just got my $500 for weighing my fish over 10 pounds and submitting it to Sherlunker from Spark myself. So 
Uh, don't forget, to my knowledge, nobody has weighed a fish in eight of our nine lakes for the $2,000 end of year Big Bass Award and for that additional money from the Sri Lanka program as well. So all kinds of ways to win. But let's go back to the fishing right here, guys. All right, so thank you to Spark Energy for giving us another several thousand dollars at LBJ and another 250 this week in the drawing. I don't know if anybody weighed a big fish this week. Remember, as of last week of the nine lakes that we got the big bass tournament going on, there's only been one fish weighed and that's my fish at, at Rayburn. So uh, that's uh, $16,000 nobody's even tried to claim yet. I'm trying to claim it at Rayburn. But uh, so there you go. I don't obviously I don't know who won that because I'm recording this beforehand. But whoever it is, congratulations. Their name's right there, and I'll reach out to them to make sure they know they won. And uh, we will be back down here next weekend. Um, I will tell you, I have picked a boat, and uh, I will tell you we're going to pick it up real soon, and uh, we'll announce it. And I'm excited about it. And I'll also tell you, by the way, guys, and I'll talk more about this later. I haven't fished the, finished the Vexus review, and I haven't done the Nitro review. But it was getting pretty far into the year. I wanted to get a boat ordered. Uh, I, I just felt like I probably wasn't going to buy a Nitro. I wanted a little more, and I hate to say it this way, but a little more high-end boat. And uh, I don't like the looks of the Vexus. And I still think Vexus... Assuming the ride is good in rough water, which is what we're hanging on to, it's probably going to be the highest scoring boat. I just don't like the look of it, and I got to like the look of it, and it's slow, but I got to like the look of it to, uh, to fish out of it. So stick around. Uh, we got third prop video coming up later this week, and uh, we got a little traveling to do to do some stuff to swap out some boats and some electronics. And, uh, I'll share with you guys real soon which direction we've decided to go. So thanks for tuning in. I saw a bunch of you down here today. Enjoyed visiting with you. And uh, we'll be back uh, next Saturday on Cedar Creek Lake trying to win us a Bass Champs. Thanks, guys.